Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss what is the property transfer and in the SOAP UI and what is the use of that. And then I will also show you how we transfer the properties from one request into the another request. Okay, so SOAP UI will provide a very useful feature that is known as the property transfer steps. Okay, so we can add these steps in the test. So how we add, just right click, click on add step. You will get option property transfer. Click on this, give the name, any name, like uh, I'm going to give the property transfer. Okay, same name, click on okay. You will see here one property transfer is added. So this feature is very useful to transfer the value from one, uh, transfer the properties, like you can transfer the values from one steps into the other steps. Okay, also you can, so also you can transfer these values and these values will be automatically transferred. So let me show one example here, like suppose that we have one uh, test, right? This test, uh, I have already discussed in the previous video, uh, we have one a test where I'm going to add the pets, sending the JSON request here, and then we will get this response. Now in the second request, we are going to update the pets where we require the ID, some ID. Okay, so what I will do, I will first add the request here, then this ID I need to extract from the response of the first request pets I add, then this ID I will pass in the next put uh, update pets request, like put request, right? So how we do that, let me show you. So I added one property transfer and place between this uh, two requests. In the property transfer, we can use here like uh, one variable name, we can give one property name, we can give uh, define, like I am giving here ID. Okay, so this is added. You can see here target is automatically select, but we can also select the target. We can select the target project suit, okay, as well as the test case and test step. So this is the test step, this is the test case, this is suit, this is the uh, like uh, project. So we can transfer the properties from project or we can also transfer from the suits uh, like uh, a test case and as well as the test steps. Now I'm going to transfer from the test step. Click on this. Here you can see the property. If I click here, we will get multiple details like response, raw request, endpoint, username. So where we want to get the value. So now I am going to retrieve the value from the response. So I will select here the response. And what is our re response? Response is the JSON format, right? So in the property transfer, we will select here path language. We will select JSON path. Click on this. And here we can add the JSON path. So currently in the request in the post, pet add request, you can see ID is coming at the root. We need to get this ID value and pass into the next uh, request. Okay, so I will pass here one ID. So ID is the JSON path. In second uh, section, you will see here, there is a target. We can select target where we want to transfer these properties, where we want to transfer this value. So I am selecting here, put request. Okay, then you will see here where we want to pass. So I am going to pass in the request body, right? Then what is the request? Request is the JSON path. Also, if I go here, you can see this is the ID, right? So I can add here, ID as a JSON path. If we want to check the properties is transferring or not, we can click here, run selected property. Click on this, you will see this ID is extracted. This ID is extracted from here. And if I go in this, you will see same. Okay, let me change this ID, run this. Now I'm getting different ID, last four digit 8895. And if I run this, then we are getting the ID and same ID you will see here is updated. 
Now in this way, the property is transferring from one, I'm getting from one response and passing into the another uh, step request. Okay, so we can set up this. Now I'm going to run test. Okay, you can see this will be executed. ID, this ID you can see here, right? Same ID automatically will be updated here. Okay, so basically this property is very useful when we are getting the request data from one API and passing into the in other request. Okay, we can pass and create and multiple properties here and we can set the target. Okay, so now here there are some options you can see what is the meaning of this? So fail transfer on our error means if we are getting any error and if we have checked this, right? So like suppose that target is not, source is not correct. JSON path is not correct and we are not getting the data from the source. So in that case, it will not transfer the value. It will mark this step as a fail. This property transfer step will fail. Set null value on missing source. If source data is not missing, then it will set that on the target, it will set the null value. Transfer text content. So if we check this, then in that case, the only the text will transfer. Other like uh, uh, JSON value, nodes, key, other will not pass, only the value will pass. Transfer to all means if here, if it at the source location, if this JSON path, there is a multiple times in the target, if there is a multiple location, this ID, this JSON path, then in all the places it will update. Ignore empty missing value. So if I check this, then if the in the source the value is missing, then this will be this will ignore. Okay, transfer child nodes. In this will be it will also transfer the child node value in TTI's transferred value. Okay, all those options are available here. Now I'm going to show one more example in visual uh, API, okay, where we have one uh, capitals test cases, right? And uh, in the first steps, we are going to send country name and then we will get the country code, right? If I send this, then we will get the country code. In next request, we need to pass this country code like IN, I'm going to pass if I pass the USA, then accordingly we will get the flag. Okay. In the third steps, there is a, we can pass here the country code and then country ISO code, and then we will get the details of the uh, country in the response. So now here, when I send the request by using country name, we will get country code, and this country code I am going to transfer in next to request. So how we do that? Let me show. So first of all, I will add one property, right click on the test, okay? And click on the property transfer. You will get rename this, you can give any name. Okay, so I use here. I'm going to put here so that it will run in sequence. So first country ISO code will execute, then property transfer will extract the value from the response and the pass into next two requests. So when the next two requests will execute before that property transfer, already transferred the values. Okay, so now here, I'm going to create one variable that is country ISO. Click on okay. So now you can see first automatically first is selected. So I need also this one. Uh, next is the property uh, we need to get from response. And here we have the required XPath or JSON query, what is the requirement? So this is the like a uh, SOAP request. So I need here XPath. Okay, so for that, just click on, right? NS this option, this will create the namespace and then we can use the XPath. Okay, so first of all, let me create the XPath. So I need this value, babe name. Okay, so copy this and paste here double slash and just XPath, first one. Okay, so now this is the NS one. 
because the namespace is the babe just converted babe format okay now run this missing the target property you can see i need to add in the target like where we want to transfer this so let me copy here this is the target copy this this x path double slash first okay so this is also pay now let me run this okay here we need to set the response request okay so click on this now you can see this is the null okay so i need to get from the not from the uh, like request i need to get value from response so this is the x path we need to create x path here again return back to here so this is the x path and name is space is m so i will update this m run this you can see in okay and here you will see in is also automatically updated let me set this question mark run the property open this you can see in is updated similar type we can add one more property okay giving the full country okay here target is same okay this just copy this source is same okay just copied this here and in this case i need to select the full country info a request x path okay so this is the name space let me copy this and here the x path is same so this is the web let me update this run this okay so here we need to select the property this property uh, is the response right selected this run this now you can see in in is coming in the code okay so now let me run and you will see the detail run this let me update this usa okay and run the test you will see here the detail of the us need to uh, place united state okay so its country code is us and uh, now if i run this test you can see here country flag is coming as well as country info is coming okay so this is very useful features property transfer and you can use in our project while uh, you need to send while you need to get the properties from one uh, location and you want to set into another location okay so thanks for watching the video